Oh, it's a very nice note from the developer. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. Welcome to... Our Secrets Below. As by the same developer who made... Uh, let's remind myself. The same developer who made... Uh, one thing I didn't know, the one that I did know, is made by the same developer who made the Mortuary Assistant demo and or prototype. The one thing I didn't know... Was they also were the ones that made the subject, that sci-fi game where you're like a prisoner stuck in a space station with this weird deformed monster thing. I didn't know they made that game, because I have it on Steam and I remember playing it and hating the puzzles. Not hating it in a bad way, but just because I hate puzzles, and I'm pretty shitty at puzzles. And that's why I say I hate it. Uh, I'm more of like a survival horror of in psychology kind of guy, but you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, they made the subject and the mortuary assistant, and now apparently they made the prototype for this, called Our Secret Below, in which... <laughs> Nia Davis has been kidnapped and taken to the basement of an unfamiliar house, waking up in a haze. Nia does not remember anything before this moment, and in her weakened state she overhears her captor and learns she does not have much time to live. He is obsessed, and no one can, ha no one else can have her. There has to be some way out of there. So it's narrative focused for her to be able to survive by searching around and learning about her captor. Maybe it has more to do with psychology, like say if you're gonna guilt trip the fuck out of him because you find out his wife is dead and you're just like, it's okay, just kill yourself. And that's how you beat the game. You never know, but hey, we're gonna try it out. It's just a prototype, it's short, it's not the full game. And everything's on its highest. Let's try it. Let's get into it. What? Oh my god! Oh god! Looks a little like The Rock, but not as masculine. I love you so much. And won't you see that? And he doesn't use steroids. Have to keep doing this. Who the fuck are you? Get away from me! It hurts me so much to hear you say that. <laughs> if you don't love me, I have no choice. I know you aren't her. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. But you will learn to love me. And if you won't, the next one will. And I have no use for you. <laughs> if you don't love me, I have no use of you. Didn't even look hey, like he. You have gone way too far. I knew it was some strange shit down here, but nothing like this. I don't need any judgment from you. You brought yourself into this. I only helped you to make sure I didn't get screwed over once I knew you were up to something. This is gonna land us both in deep shit. This has to stop now. She cannot leave. She's not leaving. Okay. None have ever left. Jesus Christ! There's been others. Nothing is going to happen to you. There's been others. Four hours for everything to finish, and then she's gone. You're going to get out of my face, leave my house, and not speak to me about this again. Are we clear? Goddamn psychopath. Wait! Wait, oh god. Help me. Could have said it a little earlier, perhaps, but you know. Okay. There has to be some way out of here. I'm not the only girl he's brought here. He's obsessed and he's going to kill me. All I can do is hope I make it out to tell the police and no other girl ever reads this. I managed to get out of the cell and if I find something that could help you, I'll hide it for you. I can hear him upstairs. If I find something, I'll hide it behind the loose rock in the wall. I hope you feel less alone than I do. Get out, tell the police, and keep this asshole from ever hurting another person. It's like when you're obsessed over someone... I can move a little bit, okay. When you're so obsessed over someone, but the obsession is, like, temporary, and you just, like, I love you so much, and it's like, well, he didn't love me, she didn't love me back, so I'm gonna start obsessing over someone else now. Uh, what does that say? Something slightly drawn on the wall. 
Anyways, loose rock. I don't see a loose rock. Um, I just miss it. Oh, oh. Um. Ooh, sexy. Snip. Now the question would be if he can hear me walking on my feet or not. Let's investigate the area. Let's close in. Ooh, that's a big tin of cookies, god damn. Hopefully it's not full of goddamn fucking sewing equipment. Hmm. Old, is it WD-40? We can't tell shit. Okay, so he's a dog person. Oh, oh. He likes dogs that much, he has a key in the back. Okay. A spade. Well, apparently we can take it. So might dig something later. Hmm. It doesn't really fix anything. W WD-41. Plus 20% bonus liquid. I'd make a lewd joke about it, but maybe not. <laughs> sledgehammer, why can't we take the sledgehammer? Conveniently placed, I could just smash the dude over the head. Like what I'd do then, I'll find you, my love. Mm. What i do is uh, start screaming down here, and then when he comes to check up on me to shut me the fuck up, like say he comes down the stairs, I'd hide around here, uh, make sure my feet aren't slappy slappy on the ground anymore, like find socks or something to put on the bottom of my feet so it's quiet. Then he'd open the cage or start opening the cage and then I'd sla like smash him in the back of the head with a fucking sledgehammer. Easy. But right now her feet are kind of slappy. Otherwise... Oh, oh. Wait, electronic. It looks like it could be pride open. I got a spade, but... Locked. Oh, I have a key. What happened to my key? Oh, okay, I used the key. A folder. <laughs> oh, jeez. I see you everywhere when I wake up in the morning, all alone, when I'm getting dressed, when I go to work. I look at you any chance I get, but it hurts. My life has no purpose without you. I want you here. I need you. Your smell, your hair, your clothes, everything about you I want. I fucking hate you. I love you so much. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I never mean that. I just don't know how much longer I can be without you. Haunt me every second of every moment, every day. Do I need to hear the ramblings of a fucking moron? Uh huh. Depressed, lonely man, blah blah blah. Oh, I'm God among the travelers. What? With breaking force! I will again pass the. Okay, I hit the wrong button. Wait, page. Open. T. What was it? I don't care how many I destroy, I'm talking to you, Nia, do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah. Wait, what, what is this? This looks important. Jumper cards. Look for jumper cards. Firebox, file cabinet, glove box, office, locker. Jumper cards. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, no, yes. One, two, three, four. Fix the damn lock. The jumper cards. Too nice, bro. I need those stupid jumper cards, but it's been so long they could be anywhere at this point. I checked the old firebox. 
but Linnell took all the passwords and codes with her. Hmm, so there should be one of the jumper things in here? <laughs> Uh-oh. What? 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 Wait, what? I got put into the VR world. What? Four, one, three, two. Weird, I'll write that down. But I don't know if I'll be using it since that's it's it's just a prologue. Four one three two. There's some long fucking arms. Ah, oh, take, there we go. very odd. You can go into some weird world that shouldn't exist to get paper that doesn't doesn't or shouldn't exist. Time is running out. All right, I'll continue my search anyways. Jumper cards or whatever. All right, the subject. 10 out of 10, most okayest game. Interesting. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, that's no good. We can't use a spade to dig through that. Hey, flashlight. Okay. Computer. Uh, what was it? Four. I can't start it. I can't. Ah, oh, there we go. Four, one, three, two. Incorrect. Wait, what? But, wait, what? What? It's not f Wasn't that four, one, three, two? Unless it's backwards somehow. Could it be red backwards? I don't think so. I can open this, but I can't close it or open the other one. A little weird. I haven't been able to really find anything. Firebox. Oh. I can't zoom in. Um, should be four. Ah. All right. It was in there the whole time. Okay. Now where do I put it in? Oh, shit. No, I don't want to. What is this? Oh, that's a jumper card. Okay. Now, where do I put it? Wait, access ticket. I gotta got check this with my phone. What this? Darkstone Digital slash Overfit. What the fuck is Overfit? This content is password protected. Ooh. Okay. 
Let's see what it gives us. Okay. I just have to enter the password. W. Okay. System load data point delve. Wait, what? It's it's a map. I'll try to show you guys, but can I interact with this? Oh, like uh, I'll, I'll just. Like, let me look at the webcam so I can show, hang on, so I know at least you guys are seeing it. I'm guessing it relates to the game for the computer, but... Who? Uh, so there's a one digit. And a map layout possibly showing me where I had to look. Um, like it shows the stairs to go upstairs. And it shows number one. I guess maybe I had to find a bunch of these? <laughs> maybe. But one of the codes is still one. Okay. Oh, well, I can climb in this room. Oh! I didn't know. I thought it was like some kind of weird looking mirror. Oh, this is so slow. Might be able to dig shit up around here. Oh, I'm running out of time. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a busy week, I tell you, with all those streams coming up. And now I learned the Resident Evil 3 remake is coming out. Um, oh shit, there's no obvious location. Somewhere around here, I'm gonna have to dig shit. Unless this green map actually shows me where I should dig. I'm gonna presume there'll be one spot in the dirt that'll be giving me an indication of where to dig. Ah, shit. The map I don't think shows, though. Oh, oh. Wait, I saw it. I saw it! Right, literally here, yep. Motherfucker. Uh, another firebox? Shit, um, for, ah, oh, it's a different code. I don't have the numbers right now then. Shit. That's not good. I need the numbers before I can proceed via the digging, which would probably tell me where to look then. Uh, shit, where would it be? Oh wait, screwdriver. Oh, I didn't know I could take that one little fucking tool. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Is he talking? No. Wait, what? What? Long chart hand. Oh. No, oh, come on. I, I even dug and found the shit that wasn't even necessary for you to be able to get in the prologue. Oh, Kickstarter video. Thank you for playing the demo. If you enjoyed. Hey, I'm Brian Clark, and I'm the developer of Our Secret Below. I've been working in video games a long time now with 13 years of that time spent working at AAA companies like EA and Disney. But with the support of my wife, I decided to pursue indie game development full time to make the projects I love, spend time with my family the way I never could work in a studio and never have to wear clothes while working ever again. Over the past few years, I've worked on some co-development projects as well as my own solo games. It's been a very different, challenging, but exhilarating experience and I've loved every moment of it. Now I've taken to Kickstarter to hopefully gain support and enthusiasm for my latest title, Our Secret Below, an escape room style thriller with an immersive and evolving story. I'm a solo game developer, which is a fancy way of saying I don't have money to pay for things. So every model, texture, line of code, lighting, everything you see was created by me. However, Our Secret Below is story driven, which means I need certain things to sell that story to the standard I envision, like additional voice acting, music, and sound effects, and various tools to make it all the best it can be. I'm also putting a portion of the funds raised on Kickstarter to advertising, as being noticed is one of the hardest things for indie developers. 
My goal of 3,600 may not seem like much for creating an entire game, but that's because my wife and I are spending our money to support my development time. A large goal would allow for more wiggle room for sure, but I'm simply looking for additional funds to help pay for the things I need to make the game higher quality, more immersive, and better advertised without having to resort to an OnlyFans page to pay the bills. However, if we pass the goal, this means more of the things that can make our secret below the best it can be, and there are stretch goals planned for that scenario. So join us in the Dark Snow community, support the Kickstarter, and complete a great game's development together. I may still make the OnlyFans page. Thank you. Hmm. Sounds like a good wife. But uh, it's unfortunate that the whole code thing, <laughs> QR codes, I didn't, I didn't need it at all. And digging up the whole thing with the shovel and wasn't needed because I didn't even have the code to open the box because it wasn't the same code as the other box. Um, if I knew I, had, I could just get that fucking screwdriver of all the tools on the, the bench, I didn't think I could pick up the screwdriver. I was just like, go, you know, like, move. It's sort of like point and click games. You click everywhere in the point and click games, and usually the things you really gotta click is just you just barely managed to miss it. it. Just happened to be what sort of happened with me. There's all the things I examined in the room. I probably examined every single little thing. All the spray bottles, all the things. I just missed that fucking screwdriver. If I had gotten the screwdriver, it would have ended the game like within 10, 15 minutes. But then I instead was playing for 33 minutes, trying to figure out what the fuck I was doing, which then ended up me going further in the game than was even finished. Such as using the spade to dig up a box to a code I can't have yet for a computer that I can't access at yet. Except, of course, me getting the first code for the computer. So like a quarter of the game is essentially maybe done, if not more. I mean, if not... No, if not less, rather. Because uh, I got the one code, which is just one. And the other code... And other jumper. There'd be like four jumpers you need to program. And they're all locked in all the stupid boxes. And if I find more QR codes for the computer, it would be for something else. I don't know. Either way, interesting game. Uh, Kickstarter link, of course, will be provided in the... I'll just click it so I have the link. But Kickstarter link will be in the description below. It looks like they already have half of the pledges needed so it looks like it's doing quite well it's got 88 backers two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars canadian out of four thousand nine hundred and eighty five canadian uh with 27 days to go so it looks like uh man going quite well otherwise yeah link in the description to play the game dom game demo yourself and link to the kickstarter down below in the description as well but i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button become a subscriber hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos thank you for watching until the next time um.